after our next match, match number five in the schedule. And Seong from Malaysia, a terrific week he's having. He's up against the number seven seed, Kansas Suniyama from Japan. Well, that's the draw. You can see the full semi final lineup there. Three seeds featured, and Seyong, the only unseeded player. No Axelson this week, withdrew before the event. Kunamut Vinitsan retired late in match. Uh, in the third game of the match on day one, it really opened up the draw. Four seeds through to yesterday's quarters. A couple of qualifiers there, you can see. Greyed out after losing their matches, but impressive to see. Lizzie Gier, Anna Anderson, you can follow later, 5 p.m. That match will be live right here for you. Trevor Harris will be leading you through that one. But for now, our final match in this first session of the day. Seyong out first, Kanta Suniyama, his opponent. Asian Championship bronze medalist earlier on this year, lost out to Anthony Ginting. Three World Tour titles to his name. And again, a pretty even contest ahead of us. But the way and Seyong has been playing, if he's got the energy left, might just go the Malaysian's way today. He leads that head to head, as you can see, 2 0. Black. Their last meeting okay. in the Hong Kong Open not very long ago. Black for you. It's black. Straight game, that's what I'm saying. That side, receive your serving. Have a good game. Well, we saw the importance of the ends in our last match. That women's singles with PV Sindhu and Wang Shiyi. And Seyong wins the toss and elects that far side of the course, uh, court where most of the points were won in that previous match. 23 years old now from Johor, Baru, JB, South Malay Peninsula in Malaysia. Four weeks now he's been inside the top 20 in the world. Still searching for a title on the World Tour. He's got five international challenge or five international series titles. And what a week. What a list of names. Wang Charawan in round one. Xiao Xian Chen, number fifth, five seed. And Liu Guangzhou yesterday, the number four seed. All in straight games. That's the form he's in. He nearly couldn't close it out yesterday against Liu Guangzhou. He had a terrific lead and lost. All of the power in his legs. Hung Seyong almost threw it away. 27-year-old Kanta Suniyama from Saga, Japan. That's on the uh, Kansai region of Honshu. 16 in the rankings. He's a top 10 player for 16 weeks back in late 2019. He's got three World Tour titles. And there are his three performances this week. Leyland Shi in 49 minutes. Promoted from the qualifiers. Dispatched Shrikanth in 41 minutes as well. So again, pretty impressive. Good form at the moment, Suniyama. Gertje Tony to from the Netherlands is our umpire for this match. That's uh, Asa Solberg from Sweden, our service judge. This man's been aggressive, uh, Chris Langbridge. Um, um Seyong, I was looking at then a couple of moments ago, the Malaysian. So aggressive taking the initiative at every opportunity and really been the difference this week, but he was starting to burn out yesterday. 
Yeah, I mean, I had the pleasure of seeing him kind of for the first time in detail at the Commonwealth Games just over a year ago, and I was so impressed. Um, he obviously filled in for Easy Jar kind of almost last minute, and he had the whole weight of Malaysia, you know, on his shoulders, and he dealt with it in such a mature way. I was so impressed, and since then, he's gone on to beat Victor Axelsson. You know, he's, he's had some really big performances, and he's now in a big battle to qualify for the Olympics. Um, going back to the rule we stated, two in the top 16, it's going to be a tough challenge, but yeah. big matches like this are so important. It's the same for his opponent. Tanyama, he, he's also in a contest to try and qualify. They're both very similar with their rankings at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kanta Tsuneyama, Japan. And on my left, Ong Tsiyong, Malaysia. Ong Tsiyong to serve, love all, play. Backhand cross clear flat. Hit it so well he couldn't keep it in court. Two left. So a little bit of a flat start here from and see Young. Fantastic touch there. You know, one thing we, we know we're going to get from Sunyama is hard work. You know, he's such a hard working player. There's not going to be any gifts he's going to give to his opponent. Oh, around the back. The net shot was terrible. Somehow survives with that trick shot. Crazy rally. The connection as well behind his back was Three, unbelievable. One. He's connected with that so well. And then later on in the rally, he gets a neck cord almost on the floor. There, look at that. Then in the end, he goes for a punch clear and he's just pushed it a bit too flat, bit had too to, hard. Had to smash there, surely. Opted for that clear. Even though the string goes, didn't matter because it was such a perfect shot. Could have been in trouble if Sinayama had found a way to get that back. Neck cord as well. I think he's got five neck cords in the first five rallies. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, the placement Three, there. Four. And that's so difficult to do. And, but this is why there'll be so many, you know, repetitions of that shot to perfect it. And that literally is on this replay here. Look at this. This absolute perfection. I didn't call the net again, I think, Chris. Going out. Yep. He looks so calm, doesn't he? he does. Say, oh, so relaxed. Yeah. So smooth, so confident. The variations there. And he's putting a shuttle exactly where he wants. And yeah, maybe he has got six neck cords in six rallies. It's, it's just a variation, but it's the calmness as well. Playing like this, 
He's got every chance of winning any event. Thank you, Lionel. There's not many rallies where you'll see uh, a clean winner against Tsuniyama. He's, you know, he's, he's a quick player, incredibly quick player, and he gets everything back. So to hit a clean winner against Four, him, three. quite amazing. Oh, he's done it again. From there, he was almost on the floor. Well, he, the thing is as well, if he didn't get a net cord, Tsuniyama was on it. He's Ow. right at the net. It was a look. net cord from Tsuniyama. Oh I mean, yeah. That was unbelievable. Shot of the day. Thing on Siong, the way he's playing at the moment, he had a one or two not as good rallies at the very start of the match. The way he's playing now, incredible. Every time I see him play, he just seems to grow in confidence. You rarely see many players looking that confident in defence, just casual. But this is the thing, you know, the level he can play at. He's shown, you know, in the last 12 months, he can play at an incredibly high level, but can he maintain it for a full match? So far in this tournament, he has because he's, you know, he's taken down three very good players. Can he continue it through this match as well? Service over four seven. Good judgment there, Suniyama. interesting thing is as well we've seen so many players today leave the shuttle um, and it looks so easy it looks very easy to leave the shuttle but we're talking half a centimeter a centimeter two centimeters at times and they get it right you know 90 percent of the times that is a skill in itself Nine, four. that's a very wayward attack there i think sunny armor starting to feel like he has to do something special though to win the point well, you can understand it. It's very hard to play against when your opponent looks so relaxed, almost casual, and then comes out with all these trick shots almost. His touch at the net so far in Sion is phenomenal. And the variation, it's so hard for Tsuniyama to get into a rhythm, into a pattern, into a routine, because Ng Sion's, you know, he's brought everything out already, and we're only at 10-4 in the first. sat on the tape and came Five, back. Well, I would say almost every rally, and Young, he's kind of in control of the rally. Like that rally, he was mainly in control. I'm not yep. saying he's going to win the point, but this is, this is looking quite a big challenge at the moment, but obviously incredibly early on for Tsuniyama. But one thing we know about Tsuniyama is he will, you know, he's going to last for eternity. He's almost like an energizer bunny. <laughs> Just misses. You're going to challenge. No. It was a slight delay by the line judge. He remembers his role. And Sayong. Pretty perfect, the performance so far. 11 5 the lead.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, slightly different style there from Tony Armour. More flat game, being a bit more aggressive, proactive. This is the thing, he's going to have to try something different. He's going to implement different tactics to unsettle and see on. Great net. Wow. The thing is, his, so far on Seong's net has been, you know, phenomenal. He's missed one. The rest, he's almost getting net cords. There's nothing that Sinyama can do except, I mean, it's not even a bad lift. But he's giving him time. And when Se young has got time on the attack as well, the attack's so well placed. <laughs> it's unstoppable right now. Yeah, I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Reads smash. it, gets up, and the placement. Off the left leg as well. Brilliant. <laughs> Nearly just, just pushed over. it a fraction. Seven, 13. That's where the space was, though, is the right shot. I think uh, Tsuniyama was 14, seven. almost moving as he was serving, and he was thinking so much about the next shot, he just lost focus on what he was actually doing, which was serving. <laughs> He's looking at his hand as if the shuttle just slipped. Yeah, he dropped oh, he hit it. it. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Oh, it's just. That flat cross lift, just 15, so aggressive, gets seven. the weak reply. But this is the thing, like, for Tsuniyama now, what is he supposed to do? At the moment, it is almost impossible, because he's trying different things, it's not working. And you can tell a little bit, possibly, that N.C. Young's inside his head because of, you know, the, what he just saw with his serving. He's thinking maybe about too many things. goes for the cross smash winner. Fight tries to find the line. Seven. And this is the thing. You start to think, I've got to be better. I've got to be better. I've got to be better. And this is where he's tried it. It's in the armor and he's missed it. And then in the end, it's quite an easy point for Nse Young. In a way, he does need to be better though. It, but he does, but there's a fine margin. It's like if you aim for a 10, what often happens is you get a zero because you, you, you go over if you get what I mean, you get burned. Yeah. So it's it's you've got to play within your own your own remit and it's not quite managing that. Chris, I, it's like 17, an exhibition. Seven. This performance so far from Unseon has been really top draw. Yeah, I mean, Unseon has been, I would almost say, unplayable. If I'm going to be incredibly pernickety, I think he's made three mistakes, four mistakes, that's it. The rest has been faultless. Yeah, well-placed attack there. Eight, 17. The most important thing for me now for Sini Armour is he just starts to feel comfortable. He gets himself into the match because I wouldn't say he's in that position yet just because Nse Young has been almost unplayable so far.
Excellent cross block again, and Sayong in attack and defence. He's pulling out all the shots. Nine, but this is the thing 17. for Tsunyama. Tsunyama has to believe that Unsei Young cannot sustain this level for the whole match. He is going to make mistakes, as we see here. Give, no matter what happens in the first game, the second game, Tony Armour has to come out with more belief because and say Young, he can't maintain what he's done consistently in this first game because at times it's been a 10 out of 10. Oh, he's found another net cord. so cleanly as well, and he's like he's jumping in the sky. City Arm has not played a bad rally there at all. No, look at that pick up. Even the length here isn't too bad, he's in the back tram lines. Yeah, but he's just giving him time, and he's hitting it so clean. It's a big smash winner. Wide, but uh, Sayong keeps it going. Oh! How many net boards? Yeah, I think everyone's 19. lost count. I wonder what the world record is. It's got to be close to double figures. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be over double figures, to be honest. I mean, Sydney Armour, everything's sort of going against him there. Aggressive from the Japanese. Third shot, cross smash winner. Good technique too, and the placement perfect. Yeah, that clear was the wrong shot. And Seyong just read it and he was already there. Game point, 12. Short as well, just intercept it. You can see his feet are almost in the midcourt. Well, eight game points and a really magical performance so far from Un Seyong. And he's through game one in one of the most impressive performances I've seen.
second game. Love all. Play. Well, Kanta Sugiyama in this men's single semi-final has to find a way to counter one of the most confident performances one, I've seen one. in a long time. shot quality, but this anticipation from Seon. Look how close he was. He was on the service line. And he lifted into that around the head corner. Service over. One, two. What's it like, Chris, for Suniyama to play against a player, or a pair in your case, looking that confident? Yeah, it's not very nice, to be honest. <laughs> I bet. Um, but it, it, it does more than that, because it makes you start to think, well, how on earth do, do I... Oh, what a save! Great pick up. And this is the thing, rallies like that have to give him the belief oh. that you can do it. Your brain plays this horrible trick on you, where you start to think, well, hold on, how on earth can I beat this player that's, you know, playing on cloud nine? What a pick-up there. Great quality off it as well. Thank you. It's just you've got to unsettle someone. When someone's in their rhythm and they're flowing, everything's comfortable. They get back stuff they shouldn't get back. Two, as soon as you four. disrupt the rhythm, you they get uncomfortable. They feel, well, hold on a sec, they start to doubt themselves. Just there. And say, oh, could have been a winner, but Tsuniyama somehow found a way to get it back. He's missed. Just by a fraction, yeah. Sir. It's the fine line. Inch, maybe, two inches further in. It's a brilliant shot. Out. Two in a row. So the armor misses. That's that pressure you're talking about. He feels like he's got to find those lines or close to anything less. And this Malaysian continues to dictate the rallies. Oh, it's going wide. The thing is, in that rally, Sydney Army got two back there. He did incredibly well to get back. The speed that Unse Yong injected early on in the rally to move forward to the net was like lightning. I nearly, I nearly fell off my chair. <laughs> It's, it's absolutely textbook, the footwork, isn't it? That makes him that fast. Yeah, he's, on. He's, he is. He's so fluid, he's so smooth, but it's because he has so much confidence in where the shot's going. When you believe, when you know where it's going, you can move quicker, you can move smoother. There's no doubt in your mind. There's no indecision. Good defence from Tsuniyama. This really is the highest quality. It feels like a shame to end with a mistake. Yeah, but it was a great defensive rally from Suniyama. Incredible. And this is what he's renowned for. He is a solid player. He works incredibly hard. He has a good defence, and he's showing that now in the second game. And if he can do that, he can start to break down and see Young. Because mistakes will come. Longest rally we've seen so far. Three, five. Still only 23 years old and Seong. Could be one of the biggest names for the future. Six, three. 
Yeah, I think all Malaysian men's singles players, they have a, a difficult challenge out there because they have to follow one of the greatest ever. So it's a big ask for all of them, but, you know, he's showing that he's preparing himself to try and follow in those footsteps. When you watch Chun Se-yong receive serve, he even looks like Lee Chong-wei, doesn't he? Yeah. The way he uh, holds that racket with that high elbow. It makes sense to try and emulate one of the greatest ever. Oh. Wow. Speed there. Seven, three. And I'd, I'd probably guess that, um, you know, the legend Lee Chong Wei is probably the most famous Malaysian athlete ever. Um, so for Unsi Young to, you know, probably doesn't even realize that he copies him on return of serve. It is interesting because Nine, if we look back to the last time they played, which was around a month ago, approximately, in Hong Kong Open, very, very different hall, totally different hall. But I was surprised at the scores from Min Si Yong. He won 12 and 11. Now, is that why he's so confident today and playing so well? Because in his mind, he believes he's the better player. And his natural, his A game, Suni Armour really struggles with. Oh, I think it's in. I think there's a... Is there a challenge from Suniyama? No, I think Suniyama knows it was plumb on the line. Suniyama doesn't quite have that big power smash that Unse Young does. It's also the accuracy there. If you see on that smash, Unse Young, he's not off balance, he's not stretched. It's a very small movement he has to make. So he's in a good position to be able to play that block. I mean, don't get me wrong, the block is exceptional. Yeah. But he's not in trouble when he's playing it. No, and he's not intimidated by the smash, is he? Or as when Nse Young gets up early, I don't think Suniyama... Wow, oh my goodness. Unbelievable, man. To even have the audacity to play that. Uh, you know, they, you, you're, almost, you're almost not allowed to play that, if you get what I mean. But I tell you what, an incredible shot. And you can't help but smile. I mean, <laughs> It is like an exhibition, and I like that word, audacious. That's the performance we're witnessing so far today from Nse Young. 11-3 in the second. Decimated Suniyama in the first. And how about this net exchange? And to get a net cord. I mean, 20 seconds. the net is his. 20 seconds. It really is. And I, I tell you what, the the coach of Suniyama, which is Sonoda, you know, the, one of the, yep. the best doubles players Japan's ever had, he is, he's got a big challenge to try and turn this around for his player. It's amazing now, a lot of the Japanese coaching staff are ex-players and, you know, legends of the game. They've gone from playing almost straight in, his, his partner Kimura as well. And I saw Endo's here this week, you know, they've got some fantastic ex-players that have gone in as coaches to try and help their next generation of players. I wonder how many points and so on might get if Sonoda actually came on court and played 2v1 against him. Service over. I think Four, Sonoda would... 11. He'd, he'd find a way, he'd find a way. <laughs> the, the intensity that he used to bring on court was absolutely phenomenal. The amount of steps he used to take. This time it's short. Brilliant net, brilliant net from Suniyama. And this is the thing, he's got to almost be bold now Five, and accept that 11. he can't just carry on doing what he's doing. And he has got the ability. He's a world-class player. He's just let Unse Young feel too comfortable so far. Terrific rally. Oh. Nice from Suniyama. Six, eleven. Well, that's one area where perhaps 
he can live up to the challenge in the midcourt here. In that rally, at least, Tsuniyama came out on top. That's the benefit, maybe, of having that doubles coach in the corner. Although Rex is still down there for uh, Tsuniyama as well. This is better now from Sunyama. His shot quality has improved. He's moving the shuttle around better. And Sion isn't in such a good position now. then and he was the one that injected the pace yep they yeah, injects the pace there and doesn't cover the drive but does he but his whole ra the racket carriage is not quite ready no when you inject pace in a game you know majority of the time the player's going to inject pace back you've got to be ready for pace coming back at you there's a challenge here Sat right down this line. I think the cork of the shuttle missed by a few millimetres. Hawkeye being called upon. Well, a few centimetres, in fact. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Eight, twelve. Play. One challenge remains for Unse Young. Pressure coming forwards, wasn't it, from Nseyong? That puts off Sumiyama at the net. Yeah, and Nseyong did incredible in that rally because he was down kind of the whole way. He was in trouble, he was surviving. But chases forward at the right time to put pressure on his opponent. There. And it just means Sumiyama just tenses up a fraction. Ooh. The smash. Nine, Hits and so on. I think it's the first loose block we've seen from and so on. Before that, his blocking had been pretty good, but it's a well played smash before. It's in the armor. Apologetic hand. As Suniyama hits the body. 9 13. Brilliant net again. Oh, what's on the line? 10, 13. How did he control a length from that spinning net shot? But the big thing is now, like, don't get me wrong, I know the ends do play a part, but it's also Sinyama is unsettling and so young. He's putting a bit of doubt in his mind. He's coping with what Unse Young's doing. It's a much more competitive um, game than the first game. I do appreciate the ends do make a difference, but it's also the style. Yeah, Suniyama's being more aggressive, isn't he? Yeah, a lot more aggressive. And he's trying to take the net and he didn't move. He just reached. And they're those shots that they are easy. But if you reach your fraction of balance, you see it, we get to see it here. You see, he just reaches his half an extra step and he would have been all right. Makes a very small step instead of a slightly larger one to take it earlier.
defense again from Anseong. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah, and the difficult thing is the difference in their attack quality and shot quality. And Seong's shot quality and his attack quality is it is more impressive than Sunny Armour's. And as soon as Nse Young gets control of the rally, it's so hard for Sunny Army, He's so late on the shots because of that quality, that deception, that variation. Yeah. Yeah, just one moment of a little bit of magic in each rally. And suddenly, Suniyama's behind the curve, isn't he? It's there. And so Young has just controlled the rally, just pushing it back, almost giving him a nothing shot. And then Suniyama tries to go over him, and wow, look at this jump around the head. I think even Rexy would be proud of that one. He's uh, athletic there. Yeah. Well, the challenge continues for this man. 11, 16. It's in. Until it's been called in, yeah. You can see on challenges. In. It's impossible to see. Yeah, very difficult. Poor guy called upon to sort this one out. Oh! Wow. The line judge gets this one just out. wrong. Brilliant challenge. Service over. 11. And just a reminder, it's Lizzie Zia and Anna Antonsen, the Eight. other semi final. Five o'clock today, the beginning of session two. Make sure you come back, tune in for that. Three matches to witness in, on semi finals day later on. Starts to see the finish line here. Yeah, and the big thing is in this match, Nsi Young's kind of, he's always had some kind of a lead. He's never been troubled enough to really feel pressured. Clever punch clear from Suniyama. Good defense. Say something that Nsiyong's done incredibly well when Suniyama's come in and he's been in an aggressive position where he's above tape and, and Suniyama's pushed at his body. Uh, Nsiyong's uh, gone over him, but his control to go over him has been incredible. Suniyama getting a bit flashy with the racket. Say on the back foot throughout the rally. 
good control from Sunyama. Yeah, brilliant rally from Sunyama. More variation, a bit more skill, just something a bit different. Great rally. I think he's calling for the medic here and say on. It might be a case of a little bit of blood again, possibly. Did he? It's hard to see from the angle we're at. Yeah, I think he's grazed a finger, diving in defence. Met Sonoda a few times, Chris. You're about the same age, aren't you? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the best head-to-head -head against him. Oh, I'm not going to ask. No. He, yeah, we, we, we had a few battles. Uh, he, unfortunately, was more victorious than I was. But no, he was a great player. You know, he was one of the best doubles players Japan, men's doubles players Japan had for kind of probably the last, I don't know, six Hello. years or something like that of 19. his career. Kamura and Sonoda were a fantastic men's doubles player. Chance to regroup. And say on two points from a men's singles final. Another excellent rally. Oh, it's caught the nets and popped up nicely for Siniyama. 13, 19. Good angle there. And you could say maybe a bit of bad luck. The net court going against him, but then in the first game, you could say a bit of good there. there. You could say a bit of good luck because I think he got about nine net courts, ten in net courts in the first game. So he did. Sunny Armour still owed a few, I think, in the second game. Well, that was our longest rally so far. And it's 13, a long way back 19. for Sunny Armour. Oh. Sayong. Motioning to the umpire to query the serve. <laughs> Service judge, nice and quiet this game. That's a tidy shot from Unseyong, but there's another challenge. A little bit of deception, I think, was that on the backhand? Yeah, nice little hold, hold, wait for his opponent to move, and then punched, punched into the corner. Sunyama challenges the length. Hawkeye says, "It's in." Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Twenty. 43 minutes played. And Seong with six match points. Nice shot. Yeah, great, great choice of shot there, I think. And Seong obviously was expecting a big smash. Nice little bit of deception. Great battle at the net.
Oh, one too many. 16, 20. Well played, Suniyama. I do feel the, the, the latter part of the second game, Suniyama's been a lot better. I don't know if it's almost he come to the realisation of it's now or never, but the amount he's holding the net more, his variation's been better, moving the shuttle around better. He's not just lifting and clearing out and allowing and so on to dictate, is he? No, he's almost taking charge of, you know, the majority of the rallies. I'd say Unse Young's lifting off, off net has been very good. He's been putting Sunny Arm almost on the back line every time he's been lifting out. 16, 20. I don't think he'll want to toy with Sunny Arm too lo much longer. I don't think he'll want to see a third game. into the final. What a reaction from him. Big smile, relief, delight, all of those emotions. He will be thrilled with that performance. It's amazing there when uh, when Unzi Young was going to congratulate, uh, speak to his coaches. His coaches were getting a selfie with a fan in, <laughs> a fan in the crowd. <laughs> and that's nice to acknowledge the crowd here as well in Finland. Final moments of the match. Holds the attack as he does throughout the match. Cross smash winner. That last rally, and so Young went ultra aggressive, full out attack. Straight games, the win over Kanta Siniyama, the number 17. And so Young through to the final. 21 12, 21 16, the game score, 46 minutes. He'll face either Lizzie Jair or Anna's Antonsen. Well, that semi finals, the first matchup. Later on, session two, 5 p.m. here, local time in Vanta, just outside of Helsinki, Finland. That's in about two hours, just under two hours, so come back for that one. That'll be in the company of Trevor Harris. From myself, Bobby Griffin and Chris Langridge, bye for now. We'll see you again next time.